do I mean to tell you I'm going to put that much butter in my steak? Yes. <laughs> That's what we're doing. It's going to be the juiciest steak you can find, I promise you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm making a ribeye steak for my husband. Um, pretty much all I do is put some olive oil. I already have some, but I need some more on the other side. So, I'm just going to flip it over. This is a really thick piece of steak, just the way he likes it. So I'm going to put a little more olive oil and a lot of um, salt. Now I only use pink salt to cook with. You can use whatever salt you want. I do put other seasonings on it, but for this part, this is all I do. I have some other pink salt that's more fine than this. So I'm just going to pour a little more on it. Make sure everything gets a lot of salt. Don't be shy. It's a big, thick cut, so it can handle it. So that's all the salt I'm going to use. And then I'm just going to pop it in the oven. You'll see how it looks when I take it out. Now... I forgot what method this is called, but I will link it in the description and I will put it in the caption. So I'll let you know what method this is, but it's really good. You slowly put the, get the meat up to temperature and it, it's the texture is amazing. So you'll see what happens next. I'm going to put some more olive oil in the pan. And this is how the steak looks once it gets out of the oven, okay? It's not too appealing right now, but watch this. So, I'm going to add some more salt on this side. I know you're like, that's a lot of salt. Trust me, baby, it's not. Trust my baby. And then I'm going to put some more salt on the other side. This is a really thick cut steak. I don't know it's, if you can tell it takes up my whole pan well there's olive oil in the pan and the only seasoning that's on the steak right now is pink salt now the reason why there's only salt on the steak right now it's because after the steak comes out the oven, the, the, it needs to cook at, a, cook at a high temperature. So in the oven, I had it on 290 for 20 minutes. I slowly um, brought it up to temperature so that the, the, when I put it in the high heat in the pan, it doesn't have to cook for very long and the texture will be amazing. So I've tried many methods for cooking steak and this is the one I prefer. Right now the stove is on high. I have some ghee, which is clarified butter that I'm gonna add to it. I'm also gonna have, add some rosemary and some garlic. I'm just washing my rosemary and garlic right now. So I bought three peeled garlic. Has anybody got time to be peeling a ton of garlic? I learned my lesson making these be love sauce. Sauces. I don't got time, baby. So, you mean you're gonna put one <laughs> Three, four, five cloves of garlic and one piece of steak. 
Yes, I am. It smells so good once you add the rosemary and the garlic in there. Now I'm going to start adding some, some clarified butter in there at first because it doesn't burn. Yes, I'm adding some clarified butter in there because it doesn't burn. So that's why I'm using it. Remember I said that the steak gets cooked at a very high temperature? So you know regular butter tends to brown. And we don't want that. We don't want anything burning right now. So. You see that baby? You see that baby? I'm gonna pick up this uh, pan so you can see what's going on here. You see that? Yes. So this, of course the steak is making a mess of my stove because that's what happens. Okay, so now, now that one side has started to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder. I know that this is not traditional, you know, in a, in a good steak, pretty much all you need is salt and black pepper. But that's not how I do it around here. So I'm going to add some black pepper. And then, I know I have salt in there, but guys, I must have my lorries, okay? I have to. I don't know why. That's just how it is around here, so lorries. The garlic has started to brown. I'm gonna add another piece of rosemary to put on. Actually, I'm gonna add this one. You know that when garlic um, burns, it gets bitter, and we don't want that. So I want the. So I'm gonna turn. I had the um I had the stove on the highest one so far, but I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so that it can finish cooking inside and browning nicely. So this is in the own. I'm gonna after the second side. It's browned how I want it. I'm gonna turn the steak back on this side. See how big that steak is? It barely, you see how big my steak is? It barely fits in the pan. That's what you want. You need to tell me the steak is gonna be bigger than the pan? Like that? <laughs> so I was watching this guy on YouTube. And he cooks, and every time he's cooking, he asks himself a question. Like, you're going to add that much garlic? <laughs> you're going to put a ton of butter? Speaking of butter, let's put a ton of butter. So when you're making steak, <laughs> you cannot have enough butter. So do I mean to tell you I'm going to put that much butter in my steak? Yes. <laughs> That's what we're doing. It's gonna be the juiciest steak you can find, I promise you. So I'm just gonna spread that. And the reason why I'm doing it now is because um, the steak doesn't have much longer in the pan. So the things that will burn go in at the end. Okay? But do you see this? Do you see how you make a steak? This is how you do it. If you want juicy, beautifully, beautifully cooked steak. Now I need to turn this up some more. 
it's not browning enough on the other side like I like it. Now I like my steak medium well, but my husband likes his steak well done. Because if it were just for me, by the time each side browns, my steak would have been out the pan already. But hubby likes his well done, so that's how we're doing it. Of course I have to pick it up again. So you can see what's going on here. You see what's going on here with all this butter? Olive oil and garlic and rosemary and black pepper. Y'all know I can cook, right? Y'all know I cook for real? <laughs> I cook cook. <laughs> I cook cook over here. And not only am I cooking, I'm feeling a little bit saucy. Because I got some Crown Royale over here. Okay? <laughs> This is what I'm drinking. <laughs> Don't do what I do, guys. Don't drink and cook. You might burn everything. But you, do you see this? Do you see this beautiful thing that's happening in this pan? <laughs> Maybe I had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> I don't know, but... I'm gonna let my husband tell you guys how this is tasting. Probably he won't. I'll try to get him to do it. So it's not brown in a... Okay. So I had to switch burners because this one wasn't making the pan hot enough. My steak on the other side wasn't crisp enough as much as I wanted it to. So, yeah. But you can see that it's not done yet because all the blood is coming up to the top. So how you know that your meat is usually cooked is because the juices that comes out will be clear. Now there's one more thing I need to add. So I need to add a habanero because I told you guys I like everything spicy and at this point my husband is used to it. Now this is not traditional either. Like I said, all you need for your steak if you're a simple person is some salt and pepper. That's it. And your butter. But for me, I want and a little spicy as well. And the green habaneros are not very spicy, so you don't have to worry. So guys, this is cooking beautifully. Trust me, it's delicious. I have some cooked rice in the pan. I have some corn that I cooked for him earlier. If you guys want to know how I make my corn, let me know. And I'll do it for you in a separate video. Now, in my corn, Jamaicans have a way that we do corn, so, yeah, I think I'll, whether or not you guys request it, I'll do it, so you can see. You need to tell me your steak is going to look that good? <laughs> you need to tell me you're going to be in the kitchen and really cook? Guys, you know, I talk a lot of uh, mess when I get in the kitchen because I know, like, you know, like, I have a lot of confidence in my food because I know it tastes good. So I feel like I can talk all the mess that I want. Because I does this, right? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, my steak is done. I 
I'm just literally all I'm doing right now is blending the other side brown up as to my liking. And I just want to make sure that the juices run clear. I do want a little more rosemary, which I washed. So this is what you do. You're like, why is all that butter in the pan? This is why all this butter is in the pan, guys. This is the reason right here, okay? And this is why you need your pan to be very hot. So you can use the hot oil to render the fat on the steak. And just uh, finish crisping up the edges nicely. Girl, everything you do looks good. Everything you do. <laughs> everything, guys. I don't come into I don't come in the kitchen to play, okay? If I'm if I'm gonna be in the kitchen, I'm cooking for real. Like I am gonna make sure I'm in a good mood. Make sure that I'm patient. To make sure I do everything the right way. And that way your food will always taste like the amount of care, patience, and love that you put in it. I promise you that. And if you don't believe me, ask my hubby. <laughs> if you don't believe me, call him up. <laughs> call him up and ask him. Ask him why he's been married for this long. <laughs> it's the food. <laughs> the food oil him, guys. The food tie him down. <laughs> So you see what's happening to the fat? Now let me flip this over. Let me flip this over so you see, baby. <laughs> Don't drink and cook, people. Okay, let me show you what's happening. It's done, okay? It's done. It's done. I'm going to turn off my stove and let it sit. But first, I'm going to give you a close-up of what I've been doing. Do you see this? Do you see this? Yes. 